Welcome to the Robinson Career Advancement Center. It is career fair season, so we want to ensure that you are registering correctly for virtual career fairs. So today I'm going to walk you through the proper process for that um, because we noticed that students are having some difficulty with navigating the career fair platform on Handshake. So we want to ensure that you have as much success as you possibly can with this virtual career fair environment. Okay, so today I'm going to be walking through um, a student perspective of how you actually register for the fair. So I'm going to be using Bronson's profile. So I'm actually logged in as Bronson and I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go. So you need to log in to Handshake. You're going to come to your profile and over to the right here or the left rather, you're going to hit events. My suggestion is to make things a little bit easier for you. You want to hit all filters. And we're going to actually filter by the Career Center. So you're going to hit J. Mac Robinson College of Business Career Advancement Center. So you're going to click that and then hit show results. Now let's narrow it down just a little bit more. And we're going to hit career fair. Now the fair that we're going to be using for this example is our Business Career Internship Expo. So you can scroll down. You can also search by name if you know the name of the fair. But if you don't know it, you can just scroll. I'll say, okay, so now we are on the registration page for the fair. Um, so we see the, the blue register button. We wanna hit that, but we can't stop there. If you, if you stop at this step, you are not properly registered for the fair and will not be able to participate. You have to register for employer sessions. So you see a pop-up window just came up on the screen that says you're registered, what's next? So we need to view employer sessions. For this particular fair, we have almost 70 employers. So you're going to have to do your homework and your research for the employers that are there. And you want to narrow it down, just like you would for the physical fair. You can't go see everybody, but you want to do your homework to see which companies best meet uh, what you have. They have awesome filters here. So if you're looking for an internship, you want to click the internship button. Okay. And then it will show you all of the employers. Uh, that are coming to the fair that are offering internships. So right now, let's say Brunson wants to do an internship. So we're going to scroll a little bit just to see what companies are offering. Now, there are two types of sessions that you can register for. The first are group sessions. Group sessions um, can have up to 50 students in them. Usually, you're learning more about the company in these sessions. Um, you're, you are able to ask questions um, through chat, um, and I believe through audio as well. If you have any questions or just want to learn a little bit more about the culture of the company, but then you can also register for one on one sessions. Now, with one on one sessions, the employer can set parameters for the type of student that they want uh, to see. So right now I'm going to click on Carter's and I can see the different one on one sessions that they have. So they have um, a coordinator, human resources and college relations person that can talk to me. They have an HR manager that can speak to me. And so these are all the times that the different people on their team are available. Um, if you don't meet the parameters for the one-on-one -on -one sessions that the employers have set, you won't be able to register for that. Okay. So I just wanted to show you what a one-on-one -on -one session kind of looks like. Um, most times they'll have several people from their team participate um, with one-on-one -on -one sessions. Today, we're going to actually register for a group session. So I see Chick-fil-A at Wendy Hill has a group session at 1230 the day of the fair. So I want to click on that. It gives me a little bit more about the company, the job types um, that the company is looking for, job titles, what school year, uh, school years they're looking for. Um, and Bronson decides he wants to do that. So he's going to click confirm. Okay, So now he is registered for that session. How you need to confirm that you actually have reg registered for a session. If we scroll back up, off to the right, there's a section called your sessions. All the, the sessions that you register for will be listed here. And the day of the fair, you want to come back to this page. You'll, it's the billable session. So this is the page you want to go to um, for the fair. So you're going to go back in Handshake. And all of your sessions that you are confirmed and registered for will be listed here. So 1230, the day of the fair, and actually you can actually log on 15 minutes before the actual event. So let's say at 1215, um, so we can be on time for this particular session. Um, this, this link will be active. You should be able to click on it and it'll ask you 
about video and all of that, and it'll walk you through. It's really pretty simple, uh, but you've got to make sure you do that second step of registering for employer sessions or you have not fully registered for the fair. Um, the other thing, too, is you cannot register for overlapping sessions. So now because Bronson has signed up for a 1230 with Chick-fil-A, he can't sign up for another 1230. There's that. If you are registering for a one-on-one -on -one session, so let's actually go back to Carter's for a second and I'm gonna click the one-on-one. -on -one. And let's say um, I'm going to do the 10 a.m. Uh, Central time. So it does tell you the time zone. So just make sure you pay attention to that so you can still be on time. And let's say we wanna click that. We'll click confirm. We're set for that. Now that I've registered for this one-on-one -on -one at 10 a.m., I can't register for another one-on-one -on -one, um, with that um, particular employer because I've already registered for one session to do a one-on-one -on -one session. So you can't do multiple one-on-one -on -one sessions with the same employer. Um, and that's on purpose so they can see as many students as possible. If you decide or something comes up where you can no longer do a group session or one-on-one -on -one session, so let's say, Bronson decides, oh, I can't do this one-on-one -on -one session. Something else came up or I changed my mind. I'm not really interested, whatever the case may be. He'll just go back to the Your Session section, click on that, and he can cancel the reservation. Okay, And you can offer a reason why um, you're canceling. So maybe something happened, um, whatever that may be. So you put that there, and we're going to cancel this session. So it removes from your your sessions um, section of Handshake. It is uber important that you register for employer sessions again, because we want to ensure that you actually get to converse with employers. Um, if you just stop at registering and that's it, you don't go to employer sessions, you are not registered for the fair. So we hope that this helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our office. We are more than happy to assist you to ensure that you um, or properly register for the fair, and we can even help you with taking a look at your handshake profile just to make sure that it's up to date and that, that you can stand out just a little bit uh, in this virtual climate. So just remember that we are here to help you, and we look forward to seeing you at the fair. Take care.